Hello, 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 Facebook Live. We on once again, getting it in. Watchman Yahoo to Israel. Y'all start uh, clicking your friends, please. Start sharing, let them know we on once again. Another hour of power. Y'all forget this tired shirt I got on. This I was working out. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it in, man. Prove my circumstances. Um, got on sweats. I got on sweats, y'all. But anyway, um, we in. Y'all hit y'all. Uh, uh, Rosenthal. I just got a page from uh from uh Larry, just now, literally. Ain't that something? And then you hit me. We need to holler. We need to holler. You, you got you got my number, don't you? If not, inbox me yours. I think I got yours, but uh, we need to holler. I, I was going to call Larry as soon as I got off. I, I mean, literally, man. I, I'm doing well. I'm doing fantastic, actually. Yeah, yeah, doing real well, man. <laughs> How about yourself? Okay, good, 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 good. I'm going to go on and, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I don't know. If you'll be up, if you want to talk, man, I'm going to hit him when I get off. Maybe I'll hit you as well. well. We can, you know, chop it up, catch up, see what's going on. That's what's up. Okay. That's what's up. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, sir. Good, 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 good. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Good. Well, I'm finna, I'm finna go in myself, man. So we got, we got, we got a lot to talk about, man. We in love, we in love with truth and our people, man. We trying to, trying to get it together, man. So expect a call from me. I'm, 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 I'm gonna swipe your number off the thing, and get it in. Okay, y'all. Um, y'all hit y'all friends list. Let them know we on once again. Hallelujah. Love with the people of the most high, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get it. So, um, yeah, we on with the uh, with the uh, conference line as well. Again, 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Those of you that's chiming in on the conference line, and those of you that's rolling on the uh, on the um, on the Facebook live, and of course, we're gonna be shooting it to uh. YouTube as well. So let's get ready to go. Conference muted. Conference recording started. Want to thank everybody for chiming in. Watchman Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the evening scripture study on his 31st day in August 2017. We on Facebook Live right now as well. Y'all hit y'all friends list. Let them know. Those of you that's on the conference line, we finna get it in. Uh, let's go. Let me see where we're gonna start. Um, huh. Let's see here. I believe we're gonna go to, um, let's go to Philippians, y'all. Philippians 3. I want y'all to get this. Let's go to Philippians 3. And let's start the first verse. Hallelujah. Let's get a quick praying. A spirit living y'all, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Uh, humble as we know how. Lifting you up. Uh, trusting and believing you. Casting our cares upon you. Knowing that you care. Um, you're the most high. You reign supreme. We need you. We believe you send a relevant word to this year, your people. And we can give you the praise and the honor, not only now, but forevermore. In the matchless name of uh, Yahusha HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Let's get it, y'all. Um, Philippians 3 <coughs> and 1. Look what it say. It says, Finally, my brother, rejoice in Yah. 
to write the same thing to you, to me indeed is not grievous, but it's safe for you. Look what he said. He said, beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision, for we are the circumcision which worship Yah in spirit and we rejoice in uh, Yahusha HaMashiach and have no confidence in the flesh. Let's read the third verse again. For we are the circumcision which worship Yahuwah in spirit and rejoice in Yahusha HaMashiach and have no confidence in the flesh. That, 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 that's where we're rolling right there. Have no confidence in the flesh. Um, do you know how deep that statement is? Having no confidence in the flesh. Do you know where, 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 where people miss out on dealing with the creator of all, which is the spirit? And they that worship it must worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, the flesh is 86 in this race. It just, it, it don't get no love, no action. It's condemned, right? Uh, you know, for what the law could not do in that it was weak uh, through the flesh. Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. The point there that I'm extracting of is he condemns sin in the flesh. John 4, oh, oh, John, uh, say John 6 and 63 said, you know, it's, it's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. And so when we deal with the flesh, we're dealing with the natural spiritual state of man. The, the, the humanity, a human being is spiritually dead unless they're quickened and made alive through the creator's spirit. We have to have the creator's spirit baptized inside of us, inside of us to rejuvenate us, to make us alive again. Other than that, the flesh is toe up. Carnal minded people that live by uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, their five senses, what they see, what they smell, what they taste, you know, what they hear, what they feel, carnal. But Yah is a spirit. We have to deal with this thing from a spiritual standpoint. So here we go. Let's dive in, right? He said, for we are the circumcision which worship Yah in spirit and rejoice in the Messiah and have no confidence in the flesh. None. No confidence in the flesh. If we get that, so let's let, 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 let's let's like let's get let, 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 let's title this thing, right? Like say um expectation. Let's roll with expectation, right? Um look at this. Let's go, let's go to uh let's go to first Corinthians two. Right? And nine. Let's look what it says. Let's start the nine first, right? We're dealing with expectation today, right? So look, let's look at it, right? It says, As it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither hath it entered into the heart of man the things which Yah has prepared for them that love him. I haven't seen. We really got to understand it's talking about the eye the ear and the heart of the carnal man, the flesh man, the natural man. You got, you got to get that, right? Um, mankind, because of the sin of Adam, uh, was cut off from Yah. And we just was living from a natural standpoint. And man has a sinful nature. So you got to know the makeup of something in order for you to understand it. You got to know what it's made of. 
What is uh, humanity made of? It, it's, it's all natural. It, it's, it's the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. People function from a self-preservation a position. Not, not it, it, humanity isn't like this, this species of love. Of compassion. It, it, it's not like it don't have it at times. But naturally it's self-preservation. Even if it's not right. If I get into self-preservation mode. You know I'll eat you. I'll lie on you. I'll kill you. I'll destroy you. If it came down to it. Animalistic nature. But we, we weren't created to be like animals. But when we fail. When sin, sin entered into the picture, uh, humanity was just condemned. They're, they're not cool. In fact, the, the, the word uh, records that Yah looked down at the heart of man and said, Man, you know, I regret even making these people. They're just ridiculous. Had he not known the end from the beginning, he probably would have just tore up everybody. But he knew his love for us. But we got to understand what people is made of. Come on. We, I mean, in order for uh, this lesson to be effective to really help you, we got to really understand this. So, again, let's go to Jeremiah real quick. I got to type it in, right? But let's go to Jeremiah. Uh, what is it? Is it? Uh, let me see. Um, I, I, I forgot, y'all. I just got a lot going on, so. But Jeremiah, y'all, go with me real quick. Jeremiah 17 and 9. Look, look, look what the word said about man, humanity, right? Jeremiah 17 and 9 says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Now, this is the description of people. Don't don't get sidetracked by titles, mother, father, cousin, auntie, brother, best friend, girlfriend, husband, wife, boo, my boo. Don't get fooled by all that, sweetheart. Honey buns and all that. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You got to know what people are made of. Now here we go. Because it's based on expectation, right? Now, with, with that in mind, I'm just trying to get a scriptural base here. With that in mind, now let's go back to uh, Philippians 3. Starting the first verse, right? It said, Finally, my brother, rejoice in, in Yah. To write the same thing to you, to me indeed, is not grievous, uh, but for you is safe. Beware of dogs. You know what, what that's talking about? That's talking about religious people. That's talking about the Pharisees and the Sadducees. That's talking about uh, uh, Israel and even the imposter Israel. Those that are positioning themselves from a spiritual standpoint to know the Creator. They have the spirit of a dog, he said. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. Then he made a difference. We are the circumcision. Now, here's the difference right here. We are the circumcision which worship Yah in spirit. We worship Yah in spirit according to the leading of his rule of HaKadosh, according to the spirit of his word. That's the only way we can worship him because our righteousness is as filthy rags. We cannot bring our righteousness to the table. It don't work like that. The word teaches that a little leaven leaveth the whole lump. We bring in our stuff, it pollutes the whole thing. You, you, you can't approach y'all like that. What we need to do is humble ourselves, admit that we're sinners, admit that we have a fallen nature. It's just the truth. Folks coming into spiritual knowledges, but they still they are still adulterers, they're still fornicators, they're still liars, they're still drunks, they still own drugs. They still smile in your face and stab you in the back. I don't care what title it is. You know how many people wounded behind their mama? 
The title mother didn't help. You know how people wounded behind the title father? That title didn't help, cousin. Got folks running around here now and say, I can't believe my cousin is with my husband. I can't believe my best friend is with my wife. I can't believe uh, 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 my auntie is doing me like that. Come on, somebody, wake it up. We're talking about expectation. I don't want to put down people in an unrealistic manner. I'm just trying to give you some real spiritual knowledge concerning the word, right? So that you don't have the wrong expectation. Look, let's do it. Let's keep it 100% scripture. Uh, 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 St. John 3, 16 and 17. For Yah so loved the world, that he gave his unbegotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's look at the demographic of people he's talking about. He's talking about some sinful, awful people. Straight up. And he so loved the world. Talking about worldly people that who's whose heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. But he's so loved, looking past your wickedness, looking past your faults, all your need. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He was he 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 robed himself in the body to rescue us. That whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Right? He sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. World already condemned. They, they condemned. He could have just left them alone, killed everybody, judged us all. But he didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He's on a rescue mission. So for the word that was written by Yali men, moved by the Ruach HaKadosh, by the Spirit of Yah, to write the scriptures, including the Apocrypha that they took out, but, 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 He's the one that orchestrated and authored the writings. And him authoring the writings, he exposes the nature of man. And from whence we fail and how wicked we are. And the true gospel will come and reveal that to you. But as you grow, you'll learn it even more. Because once you really learn the wickedness of people... You won't have confidence in people to in, to a unhealthy on an unhealthy level because we 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 see people now we're gonna aim towards the church we see people in church and we start to have confidence in them in the wrong way. That's why Romans three and three and four say, "For what if some did not believe?" Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yah without effect? Yah forbid. Let Yah be true, but every man a liar. We wouldn't have all this religious confusion if folks trusted Yah like they're, they're, like they're supposed to. But instead, we deitize man in a heartbeat. Give a, give a joker a title and a collar, and we follow him like a hog after slop. And this is saying, beware the dogs, talking about religious people, people that have a form of yawliness denying the power thereof, or and teaching things they ought not. King James Version would say, lording over Yah's inheritance, mastering over the children of Yah with their own doctrines, with their own teachings. And people are so sheepled that they'll follow them even over Yah. They fall in love with them and they trust them more than what they should. And that's why the word teaches curses the man that trusts the man and make it flesh his arms. People don't really understand how cursed they are when they overexalt their bishop, their pastor, apostle, evangelist, their mama, their daddy. Come on, somebody. Expectation. If I can get your expectation to where it should be. By the word of the Ruach HaKadosh, if I can get through, if I can preach the word to the point that you get it, that you should not be trusting in man like that, then you, you'll be more free to trust Yah over your religious position. People got religious positions. They, 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 they love their denomination. They love their organization. They have confidence in their teaching, not based on scripture, based on... Uh, 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 that denomination, that, that, that pastor, that deacon. And, and the word teaches you're cursed because of that.
Beware of dog. Beware of evil work. Beware of the concision. Look at we are the circumcision, right? Which worship Yah in spirit, not according to the flesh, not according to man, and rejoice in uh, the Messiah, knowing that the Messiah is the Word made flesh. The Word was baptized. the the Word The Word was born of a virgin. It was the word that became a human being. The human being died on the tree, rose again with all power, came back without the body in the form of the word. We rejoice in the word and we have no confidence in the flesh. None. Look at this. Look at how he go from here, right? He say, though I might also have confidence in the flesh. Say, you want to talk about some flesh? You want to talk about some religious dude? You're, you're impressed with your bishop? You impressed with your apostle? You impressed with your watchman? You impressed with, with, with your evangelist and all that? Or you got a prophet or a prophetess in your life? You impressed with them, right? Well, look at the, how impressive Paul is. His real name is Shaul. Paul is, right? Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. You were talking about some flesh? He said, he said I'm not a, a, a French fry. And you a Big Mac in this thing. I'm not a French fry. You want to talk about Big Mac? I'm a triple. I'm a, I'm, I'm a triple Wendy's burger with triple cheese. Right? He said, circumcise the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin. He's not a Gentile grafted in. He's the, of the original stock. He's the bloodline of the Messiah. He's the bloodline of our, our, our father Abraham. Don't get it twisted, right? Since we're going to talk about it, right? Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of Hebrews. As touching the law, I'm a Pharisee, raised in this thing. Concerning zeal, wasn't nobody more pumped up about the things of Yah than me? Concerning zeal, I persecuted what they called the church. I believed that they were preaching false doctrine, and I was hunting them jokers down. I'm killing them. I'm hauling them off to jail. I'm not playing with them, not even a little bit, because I'm zealous concerning the things of Yah. I'm fired up when it comes to the things of Yah. <laughs> you talking about zeal? You you talking about uh, how many uh, uh, shut-ins you've been in, and how many how much how much churching you've been, and and, and and how you in the choir and on the deacon board and on the auxiliary board and on the fundraising committee and all that? He said, check this out. I'm I'm ready to kill folks about Yah. Concerning zeal, per persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which of the law, blameless. I have my little doves and my little animals. I'm all at the tabernacle getting it in. I I'm doing the sacrifices, everything, burning incense. I got the ephod on. I got the I got all I got the beard and everything. I got the whole thing, go head wraps and everything. Concerning the law, I'm blamed. I ain't pork. But 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 what things were gained to me? Those are kind of a loss for the Messiah. In other words, he came to the end of his religious relationship with the Yah because it wasn't cool. It was on the road to Damascus when he was fighting against truth that 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 Yah uh, Yahusha uh, Yah, 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 Yahusha uh, uh, the Messiah uh, uh, knocked him off his donkey, and he 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 was introduced to the true word finally. He was faced with his religion. His religion wasn't right. And the true word came. You heard what Farrakhan said. He said, I've been preaching all them years. For 40 years, faithful to the life, honorable Elijah Muhammad. And he said, and I was wrong. And I'm going to pay for the stuff I've been preaching. He just said that the other day. Hallelujah. Y'all's going to bless him. I don't know how many Muslims finna get at his head, though. Some of them are gonna be mad at him, and some of them is gonna go 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 gonna be relieved and, and roll with him in this truth. Hallelujah. He called him aside Jesus, but you know, he'll learn, he obeyed now. But all that knowledge and information he got, just like Saul, he had a whole bunch of knowledge and information about the Torah and about the things uh, uh, concerning the law and all that. And soon as the Ruach HaKadosh filled him up, all that was transformed and made him one of the most powerful uh, followers of, of, of Yah ever.
Same thing can happen with Farrakhan. Same thing can happen with you. If we can get you to see that you shouldn't have confidence in the flesh. You shouldn't have confidence in your denomination. You shouldn't have confidence in your organization. You shouldn't have the inappropriate confidence in your bishop, in your pastor, in your evangelist or prophet. There is a proper respect. Don't get it twisted. But it's always underlined with follow me as I follow the Messiah. And everything that I'm teaching has to line up with the word. And we got to be willing to cut that religious part off and start rolling with the word. Such as it shouldn't be no denomination. The weakness in the body uh, uh, of the Messiah uh, 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 is division. The so-called folks that's in the body anyway is division, denominations. This is sin by definition. But folks, it's so caught up. But, but, but let y'all keep turning up the heat. He turning it up through disasters, natural disasters, and all kinds of stuff. Racism and all that. They coming after the Hebrews. Don't get it twisted. They dogging them out out there. They saying boats is passing them by. Aid is passing them by. They not going to help them. They didn't help them in Haiti. Half a billion dollars was sent over to Haiti. Them folks wasn't getting that. They had warehouses full of food that spoiled. Because Haiti is Israel too. Huh. They ain't, they, 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 they're, not, they're not going to help a Hebrew like that. It's just the truth. And the Gentiles, now that they find out who true Israel is, the Gentiles find out they're grafted in. They've been sending their money to the wrong folks. They've been sending their money and aid to the synagogue of Satan and all their little branches. They got a bunch of branches collecting money right now for the disaster that's not going to get to the people. Huh. But we got to wake up and take our confidence out of the flesh. He said, he said, uh, 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 for we are the circumcision which worship Yah in spirit and rejoice in uh, uh, the Messiah and have no confidence in the flesh. You want to brag about some flesh? Huh. You, you want to brag about some flesh? Huh. Well, 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 here I am. But look what he say. He say, he say, but what things were gained to me? Okay, I got this fat flesh jumping off. I got I'm a I, I got pedigree here, including bloodline, not only spiritual but physical. I'm real, the real is real. Bloodline and according to the faith. The faith of Abraham, I got it. The, the, the bloodline of Abraham, I got it. The flesh of Abraham, I got it. The bloodline of the Messiah, I got it. The flesh, the hair, the nappy hair. They thought I was a thought I was a Hamite, thought I was thought I was a, 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 a Egyptian, Mizraim, a Hamite. Kimmet? You thought I was Kimmet when you saw me? Because I was black with, with, with his hair? That's what you thought? Well, I'm not. I'm not Egyptian. I'm not Kimmet. I'm, I'm, I'm Israel. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a Hamite. But things that were gained to me, those I counted lost for the Messiah. Get that out of here. Get all that religious stuff out of here. It's time for us to achieve a relationship because we wouldn't be believing the crap we believe if we start believing the word. Yet doubtless, I count all things but loss for the ecstasy of the, of the knowledge of the truth of, uh, of Yeshua, Yahusha, Hamashiach, Yahusha, the Messiah, my Adonai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but doo-doo, dong, y'all. Doo doo, that I may win the Messiah. I just want the truth of the word. I don't need religion. I want true relationship. Look what the ninth verse say, and, and be found in Him, not having my own righteousness. A nice person. Get that out of here. Balance a book on my head. Moral. I'm flossing and brushing my teeth and stuff. I know how to do. Uh, uh, you know, I use a fitty sheet and I do hospital folds on the. Come on, nothing wrong with none of that. Please brush your teeth and floss and, and use your fitty sheet. Nothing wrong with none of that. I say fitty, huh? F fitted sheet. Nothing wrong with that, right? But be found in him not having my own righteousness. That ain't going to give you no salvation. All that old church stuff is not going to give you salvation. 
In fact, some of it is going to take away your salvation because, because, because you have confidence in man. And if the truth of the word come along, you're going to kick the word out and roll with your organization. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law. But that which through the faith of the Messiah, the righteousness which is of Yah by faith. Huh. Look at this. Let me show you all this. Look. <coughs> Let's go to Luke 14. Look at this. We got to stop having confidence in people like that, right? Look. Luke 14 and 26 says, If any man come to me, this is uh, the Messiah talking, right? He said, If any man come to me and hate Hate not his father and his mother and wife and children, brothers, sisters, yea, even his own life. He cannot be my disciple. Now, of course, you got to look up hate because he don't want us to hate. You got to look up hate, and it means prefer more than, meaning that if you prefer your father or your mother or your wife or your children and your brother or your sister, even your own life, you can't follow him because, because, uh, you know, there, you shouldn't put no confidence in the flesh. Fleshly people, can I be honest? Fleshly people are not cool. They wishy-washy sometimes. They're led by their flesh. And the species mankind is not good. That's why salvation is predicated on death, burial, and resurrection. Not only did the Messiah die for our sins, but we have to follow suit because we got to die out to our sinful nature. And, our, and everyone has a sinful nature minus the title, father, mother, wife, uh, children, brother, sister. Those are titles of people that need to die out to their evil nature because their nature is evil. And if you have confidence in those titles, given now confidence to uh, their flesh because of the title, then you got a problem coming. If you, if you trust someone flesh because they got the title apostle or pastor, you got a problem. Because you're dealing with an evil species, humanity, a falling nature that's caught up in pride and lust, that's fickle and sometimes, sometimes up, sometimes down. We can't mess with that. That's why the gospel is the death of that and the resurrection of his Ruach HaKadosh living inside of you. His living word leading and guiding you. You can't roll with yourself. Even your good ain't cool. There's arterial motives and all that. We got to let the creator of all recreate us. When he rolled uh, 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 in the beginning and, and, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, it was dark everywhere. He said, let there be light and the light shined in darkness. Well, his word shines in our dark person, in our dark mind, in our dark heart, giving us life. The gospel came and condemned our former lifestyle, our stinking thinking. It shined the light on us and caused us to be guilty before our creator because we're a wicked species. I'm going to tell the truth anyhow. We are. Not just you, me too. I had to be faced with the truth of his word and look at myself. I had to even look at the Ten Commandments and see that I came up short. And I had to admit it. Then I wanted forgiveness. Then I confessed that I believe he died in my place. And he filled me with his royal Hakadesh. He said, I will dwell in them. I will walk in them. I'll be their Elohim. They'll be my people. He baptized himself inside of me and given me understanding concerning the things of Yah. Being able to unfold mysteries. Being able to deny myself. Huh. Being able to follow him. If any man come to me and hate not. You want to prefer father? Mother? Well, they got good advice better than the word, huh? Your wife, pillow talk, you like listening to her, like Adam listened to Eve and got us in all this mess we in now. Children, we need to discipline them to drive folly far away from them. You want to roll with the children, brethren? You got some real raw brothers and sisters and sisters? They so raw that you're going to take their word? What, they real smart? Really? Yeah, even your own life, the word teaches there's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of his way is a death. We got to get off of man. Huh. 
We got to get off of man. Expectation, expecting them. Expectation. Look at this. Let me show you this. We're dealing with it, right? Let's go to Matthew 12, right? Matthew 12 and 46. I just want to show you something what uh, uh, Yahushua did. Uh, um, 12 and 46. Look what it says. He said, why he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, deciding to speak with him. This was his kinfolk. This was his family according to the flesh. His mama, Mary. Miriam is really who, who she is, but Mary they call her, right? His mother and brother, they, folks didn't know he had brethren, but he did, right? But his mother and brethren stood without, deciding to speak with him. Then one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, deciding to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto uh, him that told him, Who is my mother? And who is my brother? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my father which is heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. He's making a difference between the natural relationship and the spiritual relationship. Don't get mad at me, those of you that got the... Family first tattoo. I'm just saying. But. I love your family. I love mine. But if family don't have y'all. There's an issue. If they're carnal. The carnal mind is enmity against y'all. Enmity means hostile. Look. Let me, let me tell you this. Look, look at this. The spirit of the world is against Yah. If a, if a person don't have the spirit of Yah, if they have repented for their sins and accept him, if they're not born again, they have a, a nature that's different from Yah. Straight up. I'm just being honest with you. They have a whole different nature. And so they don't want you to put what you're talking about on them because they ain't going to like that. In fact... If you preach too much truth and you don't even say nothing to them, they're uncomfortable with you. You make them uneasy. That, that spirit in them don't like you. Uh, the Messiah said, you're going to be hated of all men for my name's sake. Because of me, they're going to hate you. Because what you represent, what y'all represent goes against them. The wickedness of this world and how people operate and how people think and what they do, y'all's against that. And when you're born again, you, you died out to that. And now you become a new creation in him and you're growing into that. That is a testament against them and you ain't never got to say nothing wrong to them. You ain't even got to do nothing to them. They have a problem with you. You come in a room, you mess up folks high. They rather you not around. They just get uneasy. I got people that just ain't digging me and I ain't done nothing to them but love them. Been good to them. You can get two people that has done the same thing to them. Say, say if I borrowed $5 from them and didn't pay them back 40 years ago. And you borrowed $5 from them and didn't pay them back and you're worldly. They will forgive you. But they ain't going to let me off the hook. There's going to be something about me that just bothers them. They're going to blame the $5. But then when you're able to show them, oh, they borrowed $5 too. Then they'll mumble for a minute because you cut, they stuck. And now they might have to look at themselves to figure out why they don't like you. The, the word teaches that the world loves their own because they got the same familiar spirit. But when you're of Yah, I'm talking about all the way down to the concision. I'm talking about church folks now too that are worldly under the influence of false doctrine. Under the influence of one save, always save. Under the influence of we're all sinners saved by grace. Under the influence of sin. When you come and preach truth, they're either going to bow down to truth and repent, or they're going to hate you. They ain't going to want to hear you preach. They ain't going to hear you teach. They, ain't gonna have, they don't want to have nothing to do with you. Because it's the spirit in them. That's why he said, beware of the dogs. Be, beware of the concision. Beware of the evil workers. Beware of those that, 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 that believe that they're once saved, always saved, and, and, and we're all sinners. So they run around here doing whatever the heck they flesh want them to do. This flesh don't work here. Your evil nature don't work here. 
That's why he said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. You got to learn how to deny that evil nature and follow the Ruach HaKadosh. That's why the word teaches, blesses the man that endureth temptation. It's endurance because of your evil nature is pulling on you. Like Saul said in Romans the seventh chapter, when I would do good, evil is present. What's the presence of the evil? Our old nature. She's still fine. He's still looking good. The money still is appealing. Anger still is real. Disrespect me, I'm mad. Envy is still real. The heart of man is desperately wicked. All this stuff is still trying to work. When I would do good, he was present. I'm able to do good because of the Ruach HaKadosh. His spirit is living inside of me, leading and guiding me into all truth. But I got to deny my evil nature in order to do it. The evil nature has a religious position too. The evil nature wants to eat its cake and, 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 and have its cake and eat it too. So they'll open the church and they'll tell you you're a sinner because they're a sinner. they still sinning. They haven't been called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. They want to put everything on Yeshua. Every scripture tells you that you got to deny yourself, but they ain't going to put it like that. They're going to say Yeshua did it all. Jesus did it all, they're going to tell you. So they can do them. So if they sneak and grab your butt, you get to keep a secret. And they'll tell you, I'm only human, girl. Look at it. It's all big and round. <laughs> Couldn't help it. You know I'm only human, girl. You understand, don't you? And you giggle. Well, I know that's my bishop, but he, he a man like anybody else. Everybody want a piece of this. We that silly. Come on, y'all. Even the word teaches the qualifications of a bishop and a pastor. There's qualifications. Oh, throw that out, right? They ain't got to have a qualification. They can lay up with little boys, rob everybody. <laughs> they were fl flying around in here in helicopters and planes and homeless people in their ministry. Oh, it's cool, huh? We don't have no... <sighs> Come on, y'all. We got we to gotta somehow stop having expectation and flesh. His family came, his natural family, and he made a difference. The difference is the Ruach HaKadosh. Those that have repented for their evil nature, repented for their sins, and want to become a new creature and believe. <clears throat> that's his true family. That's the true family of Yah. That's the true family that's going to go into, into eternity as family. You have natural family here. It's only temporary. The eternal family is forever. Those that believe is going to have eternal life. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his begotten son. And whosoever believeth him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Be not deceived. Yah's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you sow to the flesh, you shall of the flesh reap corruption. You sow to the spirit, you shall of the spirit reap, reap life everlasting. Listen to this. Hey, this place is temporary, and you got to get that. And we're so used to disaster. We like to get our little chips and help out. We're so used to disaster, we think it's normal. We even think that death is normal because since we were born, there's such thing as death. But you've got to look at the origin of death. The origin of death is going against the, 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 the most high, the, 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 the creator. Yahuwah, Yah. Going against him is what causes death because he's life. And if you go against life, then by default, ain't nothing left but death. This stuff is not what it's supposed to be. It ain't supposed to be natural disaster. It ain't supposed to be racism and people killing each other and all this foolishness. This is a result of sin. And then the devil get involved and start playing Yah, setting up uh, stations to get to Yah. And he going to switch it. He going he gonna to preach a new Messiah. He's going to preach a Messiah to tell you still can live in the problem. The wage of sin is death. He'll make you comfortable, complacent in sin. Because you're surrounded by it. No, you're caught out of it. You were caught out of the darkness into the marvelous light. You need to repent and do it quickly. It says repent and be baptized. Repent means to turn around and stop. He said, be perfect. Everybody running around talking about, you can't be perfect. 
He told us to be one. Oh, ain't that, you know, there's going to be denomination even for, for, for uh, you know, when you register your church, you got to have your own name. We got all kind of dumb carnal reasons. But who's going to trust the word? Who's going to believe the word? Who's going to come out of the denomination? Who's going to stand with y'all? Bet if the waters come flood out of here, you'd be ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when the, when the earthquake comes, shake this joker down to the ground. Or somebody comes, start bombing this place, then you're going to check your theology then, huh? I bet you, I bet you, you'll be ready to uh, obey the word then. I bet, I bet, <laughs> yeah. That's when folks going to start scrambling trying to get to Yah. And that's when it's going to be a, 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 a Proverbs, the first chapter. I'm not going to read it, you go read it, because it's cold as heck. It'll wake your game up. Go read Proverbs 1, how Yah going to respond when he stretched out his hand and you refuse. You wouldn't, wouldn't want to mess with it. But when calamity come, when problems come, here you come. Here you come. Did everything you wanted to do until you couldn't do it no more. Until they broke up with you and left you. Or until you too sick to do it anymore. Now you want, you want Jesus, huh? Come on, y'all. Expectations. If you expect that a man can save you, then you got a problem. Anyone other than the Messiah, you got a problem. If, if, you, if, you, if you think that man can give you happiness, if you think somebody carnal won't turn on you, you got a problem. Your expectation is someone carnal, that someone that y'all can't trust, and you trying to trust them? I don't care if they is your spouse. I don't care who they is to you. I don't care if they is your child. You got children turning on their parents. You got spouses turning on each other, cheating on each other. Titles, natural titles don't fix this. The only thing fixed this is becoming a new creation. First coming to grips that you're a sinner. And then that you believe that he died for you because you're a sinner. And then repenting for that sin and turning around. And he'll baptize himself inside of you. And then he'll, he'll, he'll lead and guide you and you'll become a new creature. And you'll be renewed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yah. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. He's going to baptize himself inside of you and give you the power to change. Then he'll start revealing to you about the law. Folks trying to be justified by the law. Nowhere in the word do it teaches that anyone was justified by the law. When the law came, it came to prove that we was all scandalous, including Israel. Yeah, they was a chosen people because of Abraham, because Abraham had the ingredient, faith. So he blessed his seed. His seed wasn't blessed uh, those that didn't have no faith. But, but he, he allowed the Messiah to come to that line based on keeping the line of faith, the remedy. Keeping the remedy alive, trusting him, having faith in his word. Having a true relationship with the Most High. Everybody wasn't running around sinning and going against Yah. It was a small remnant that kept it. And those that was chosen got their butts kicked, shipped into slavery and everything. That's why we out here, boats passing us by and everything. That's why when something happened, them jokers ain't coming to help you. They'll try to kill you. They'll try to rape you. They'll try, they'll jack you up. Because your only refuge is in Yah. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I forget their sins and I hear their land. Period. And then when you start learning how to rightly divide the word of truth, that's not even a diss to the Gentile. They're not the true Hebrews. They're not real Israel. But the Gentile got action at it through faith. Read Romans 11 chapter. When Paul warned them, don't go against Israel. If you if you ride in the boat, you better stop. He told Abraham, I blessed him to bless you, and I cursed him to curse you. Stop the boat. <coughs> don't run around here, racist. Don't run around here, prejudice. But we got to get our confidence out of the flesh. Come on, y'all. Now I'm really aiming towards like from a from a religious standpoint, from having a relationship with the Most High. Your relationship with the Most High should be predicated on truth. You, How can you hear without a preacher? Let me say something else. 
all these millions and millions of pulpits because of these social media platforms. You ain't no pastor. Unless you were a Dane pastor by Yah. Everyone is leading themselves. Yah never intend for you to lead yourself. He told you to obey them to have a rule over you for they watch for your soul. And it's better they do it with joy and not with grief, which is unproper for you. Because you know a couple of scriptures and, and, and learn some maps and all that. You, that don't make you no pastor. You can't watch for your own soul. You got a bunch of folks that's just hopping all around. The, the, the devils just make it just tearing folks up. Bunch of know-it-alls because you know four or five scriptures. You better humble yourself and find uh, somewhere to worship. Up under someone that's been tr tried and, and, and proven and filled with the Royal Hakadesh until you grow and then you get laid on in the hands of the Presbytery. You ain't laying hands on yourself running around here, no solo bolo. It don't work like that. But when you have confidence in the flesh, including your own dog on flesh, you do stuff like that and think you justified. You got a whole bunch of mini pastors running a whole bunch of uh, new prophets and pro who lay hands on you made you a prophet. And the prophet is, oh, it was Yah, just him, huh? That's why you live like the devil, probably. Still want to prophesy, though. Still want to speak in people's lives. Just got out of hangover, just got off dope, just got out the motel room, the bed, and now you prophesy. Prophet lying. Come on, y'all, we need to repent and do it quickly. If, if you didn't get nothing else out of the lesson, right? Because this was a rough one, right? But listen to this. If, if, if you didn't get anything else out of the lesson, listen to this. You cannot have confidence in the flesh. Not a pastor, not a bishop, not nobody. Follow me as I follow the Messiah only. Your theology should be based on truth. Like, what denomination you belong to? And if you belong to one, should you? Now, are you going to make an excuse? Is your excuse that you're going to make for why you're part of a denomination based on the word or based on the denomination, based on your bishop, based on your pastor, then who do you have confidence in? In the flesh? In their flesh? In whose flesh? <laughs> Come on, y'all. A house divided against itself can't stand. We somehow got to become one according to the prayer that the Messiah prayed in John 17. And how we become one is when we have the mind that he had, according to Philippians, the second chapter. And the mind he had had lined up with the word. He said, I come in the volume of the book in Hebrews to do what's written of me. It's all about the word. Our theology got to line up with the word. Period. We cannot have confidence in people. When the word proves that it's only one Elohim and it's not three, but you're going to still roll with it, then that's you. But but we got we got to start studying to show ourselves approved, studying like the Bereans, studying to see where those things be so. We need to, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21, prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. We need to come together and get in the word. Start getting the Hebrew brothers and sisters from up under the law. I see our brother Farrakhan for to start bringing the Muslims uh, to the awareness. They, the, the average Muslim already know that they're Israel. It just didn't make any sense how they're Israel and the Muslim because the Muslims is the one that turned Israel over to the slave trade. It was the Moors that did that, the Muslims. That's not their religion. That's, what, that's a part of the curse story in Deuteronomy 28, that we would serve wood, the cross, and stone, the cobblestone. But Yah is waking us up. And now we need to start navigating towards truth. And the Gentile is involved. For Yahshua loved the world. The Gentile is grafted in. Into Abraham's family. The Negroes. Abraham's family. Look up Negro land. This, this maps of the 16 to 1700s. The slave trade. They got them from Nigeria. Used to be called Negro land. During the slave trade. The slave post was called Judah, Weda, Iuda. Look at the maps, the Portuguese map. 1600, Negro land, look it up. But the Gentile is grafted in because the Negro said, let his blood be upon us and our children. Well, he did it. 
Right after that, that's when in 70 AD, the Romans hit Jerusalem and tore it up. We've been in running and in the exile and slaves ever since. Hard head make us soft behind. We rejected it. The Gentile came in. They ransacked Jerusalem, stole all our books, our libraries. It's in the Vatican, five miles of our books and all that. They took the Apocrypha out in the Americas. They took the Apocrypha. It was 80 books. Got his dad in 66. But you can get you a 1611 King James Version and you had Apocrypha back. You'll find that Jesus ain't in there because there wasn't no such thing as Jesus' name yet. <laughs> but you find the Apocrypha. And you'll have 80 books again that will prove who true Israel is. But we got to stop having confidence in people. We got to follow. You, you can't get around and how can you hear without a preacher and how can he preach except he be sent. Romans the 10th chapter if you want to read it. But we got to start finding a place to worship that's going to preach truth and that's going to hold us accountable. You need accountability. And your first accountability is Yah. And he baptized himself inside of you. So he can lead you. You have no need to no man teach you. One planet, another water, but it's Yah that's going to get an increase. That don't mean you ain't going to have somebody to watch for your soul. Read Hebrews. What is it, 17? You still going to have somebody to watch for your soul. But, you, but you're going to know if they're following Yah or not. And they're not following Yah, you ain't got no business following them. <clears throat> if you're chiming into me, I'm tearing the flesh up. Because ain't no flesh going to glory in his sight. Sorry. Not yours, not mine. He told us to be perfect <laughs> as your Father which is heaven is perfect. <laughs> he told us to repent and do it quickly. <laughs> and when, when, he, when he broke the news to Israel, and I'm out of here, but when he broke the news to Israel and told them, therefore, let all the house of Israel know surely that Yah have made that same Yeshua whom you have crucified, both of Savior and Messiah. When they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts and said unto Cephas, they called him Peter, Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brother, what shall we do? He said, repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the, 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 the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh. Repent. Stop sinning. Bow down to Yah and obey Him. And He's going to help you. He's going to baptize Himself inside of you. I'm going to dwell in Him. I'm going to walk in Him. I'm going to be the Elohim. They're going to be my people. He's going to give you the edge. So then it's going to come down to your real heart. Do you want to? Because now you have the power to do it. Before he baptized himself inside of you, you're right, you were a sinner. You weren't saved by grace, though. But you definitely was a sinner. All of sin had come short. You was definitely 100% a sinner. But he baptized himself inside of you when you believed his word and apologized for being a sinner. Then he gave you the power to become witnesses. Not only go witnessing, but become a living witness. Becoming a new creation. Now you can... Deny yourself. If any man come after me, let him deny himself. Now you can deny yourself. Yeah, you might want to commit adultery. Yeah, you might want to cuss him out. Yeah, you might want to hold a grudge. But greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Let's stop having expectation in the flesh. Take your expectation out your bishop and put it back in Yah. Out of your denomination and put it back in Yah. Take your expectation off your mama and your daddy when it comes to your soul. And put it back in Yah. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council under the influence of the unyali, of carnality, of natural people. You don't want to do that, y'all. You want to trust the word. In the word only. I hope y'all got some out of the word. <laughs> Let's pray. Spirit of living, y'all, we love you and thank you. We pray that your word went forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, speaking of everlasting life. Those that are spiritual or even want to be, that want to repent, uh, I'm, I'm sure they love the word and will grow thereby. Those that have no desire to, to love you, um, I'm praying for them also, that you touch their heart, that they change, and they accept the truth of the word. We trust, believe, and thank you. In the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. That was the lesson for the day. We pray that you were edified, you got some out of it. I got something to do. I'm supposed to make this call at 8 o'clock. But uh, if you guys want to, uh, you know, fellowship for a moment, uh, we can get it in. Uh, just call the number 
and 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 again we can we can get it in. Three zero two two zero two eleven zero two extension eight one five six four eight. Be blessed. Be Baruch. Baraka Shalom.